Welcome back to Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. If you take a look here, we're only missing two dragonflies currently, and we're about to reach the halfway point of the game, so I hope you're ready, my friend. I don't think I can be ready for anything you're going to throw at me. Good. Because <laughs> that's how I want it to be. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the next level is actually right where you start when you turn the game on, so we're just going to head over to Cloud 9, which, uh, if I might point out... Cloud Nine is an expression that means something heavenly, and nice, and good. Being in a very, very good mood because of something good that happened. Yeah, it's supposed to mean that, but for this level, mm -mm. Let me just, uh, let me just give my rating right here, right now. Nine out of ten. You know what? This is one of the more fun levels. But the problem is, it is so spread out and big, that it's really boring. By the way, I'm speeding up loading screens now. Oh, oh okay. Oh, it's going so fast! Ah! Yeah, all loading screens from now on are going to be sped up because I can't stand to watch them anymore. We just collected a gem coming into the level. That's a good sign. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, welcome to Cloud9. We got 800 gems and 10 dragonflies to collect, and uh, the species are teddy bears, and the fodder are stars. <sighs> yep, so these sleepy time bears, they want us to use our electric breath, which we just got, conveniently, and we need to turn on their giant uh, hourglass, thank you, that's in the sky so they can go to sleep. Powering the machines. No one around here can get any sleep. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's, sure, that, what, fine. You know what, this is actually par for the course for, like, mini stories in Spyro, because every now and again you're going to have to help denizens of the world collect their things or, you know, defeat an enemy that's in their way or something like that. So I'm always going to give that a pass because the little miniature stories that are in all these levels, they're fine. They match up perfectly with the writing of Spyro. So what do we come to expect? Yep. So what did you come to expect? Uh, don't worry if you miss one of these shrubberies that I'm flaming, because I thought it would have been really nice to have, like, a skill point attached to burning all these shrubs. There isn't. There are skill points in this? There are no skill points in this game. <laughs> Every game before it, even when the Reignited Trilogy came out and they added skill points to the first game, there are no skill points in Spyro 4. They had to cut the skill points. Most likely, yeah. And uh, speaking of cutting things, uh, I want to throw an inconsistency at you. Inconsistency? Ooh. So you are, uh, as far as I know, you're still playing Spyro 3, or still working your way through it. At, at this exact moment of recording, I have not started Spyro 3 yet. Okay. Well, uh, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but let me tell you, it is all about collecting baby dragons. Right. And there are 151 of them. <laughs> now, according to Spyro Lore, every baby dragon gets their dragonfly early. It's how they stay protected. It's it's the Spyro thing. There's the reason they get dragonflies. Spyro's had sparks since he was a young thing, right? Mm-hmm. But do you notice the inconsistency with numbers? Numbers? There's 151 dragons, but only 90 dragonflies. Well, there is obviously classism, then. <laughs> Only the chosen few get their dragonflies, and the rest oh! are just... Oh! Un undesirables that must be removed from oh, the population. of course. Oh, how about the the dragon named after uh, one of the lead designer's kids? Yeah, he can go. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I've recently unearthed about this game, and some of it's a horror story. Like, I've, I've already told you about all the content that was cut and you know the fact that there were originally going to be 120 dragonflies and then they cut it down to 90 but uh th there's so there's some worse stuff and don't worry you're not missing anything this is an extremely basic level it looks extremely basic mm -hmm. i mean even where the gems are it's just no care I, I will say this is one of the only levels that has a thief that's running around here with an item oh a thief yeah a thief but there's a level based on the old-fashioned thieves. So this is a new thief. And by the way, for some reason, I can't flame the basket through the plant. I actually have to, you know, get around its hitbox. Oh, there we go. 
So uh, you're actually going to see me in this footage accidentally run into the thief because the thief doesn't go any faster than Spyro. Completely ruining the point of thieves then? He's also on a set path, so if I were to go the back route, I would run into him because I'm not in uh, front of him. Oh dear. See, see, look, there he is. It's just, at one point, I'm going to unintentionally run into him. And the thing here is that bear right at the beginning of here, because I'm so interested in getting collectibles and not doing anything else, uh, the magic wand from that bear was stolen, and I'm supposed to get it back from this thief. Well, I, I accidentally do that. Hi. <laughs> that was... He ran right into me. Wow, some wand there, guys. Mm -hmm. So, yay, we got the star wand, and now the teddy bear can activate the whirlwind. That's the only... Th that is the main puzzle of this level. Wow, not even, like, three uh, thieves around the level that yeah. have, like, pieces of the wand, or... Yeah. Wow, okay. All right. All Whatever right. gets it out faster, right? So let's, let's talk about technical stuff. Speaking about, you know, getting just shove shit into the game and hope it works. There's a lot of recycled details and content. In fact, uh, oh. the game actually originally referenced uh, the level Colossus, Frozen Altars, and the world of Avalar. That was going to be referenced. That was all cut. <laughs> because, of course... Yeah, uh, the development companies Equinox Digital and Check Six Studios both shut down after this release. But uh, there's uh, how surprising! I thought they would still be in business. Imagine that. And uh, I did mention earlier that uh, this game was supposed to come to the Xbox and PC, but because of the poor sales, that didn't happen. How many Spyro games out of the air? Let me count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Spyro games, not counting Skylanders, because that's a separate series. How many Spyro games made it to the Xbox? I want to hear. One. And I'm also going to take out Reignited. How many made it to the Xbox? Still going to go with one. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Spyro A Hero's Tale made it to the Xbox. Are we ever going to get to those games? Fuck no. Because, <laughs> let me tell you about A Hero's Tale. This this game right here, this game that we're playing right now, Enter the Dragonfly? Mm hmm That's the last time they used the normal cast. What? Hero's Tale is when they changed the entire cast. Hey, it's Savino. Oh. And uh, then we get Savino. it. Then we get into the dark timeline stuff, and then it's just a bad time. <laughs> well, at least Spyro's back the way he <laughs> should be. He's hey. back, guys! <laughs> oh, uh, so here's one of the generators here. We need to use our electric breath, hit these three little nodules here, and uh, uh, start yes, it back I up. I could totally tell that was a generator. Here we go. Watch this animation. Ooh, look at it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 hey, man, light particles are fast. Mm -hmm. So, of course it'd be instantaneous. Right. I mean, it, we're just dealing with light here, of course. Speed of light. So where are the other two generators in? Uh, there's three more. I've actually missed one in the beginning, but don't worry. We'll, we'll double back and get it. I'm glad that we knew exactly where the generators were. I mean, what what they look like and all that. You know. Yeah, they're big, like, gigantic lasers. I don't think we'll be missing them anytime soon. You think that they could have one teddy bear be like, Hey, Spyro! Do you got any way to turn on this generator that's right here behind me? I mean, they kind of did. They had that first bear. This guy's freaking out. What the hell? Ah! 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 Oh, God! Oh! Ah! I think he got stuck in some, like, like invisible walls, because he was supposed to be jumping all over the place, but he got stuck. Oh, cool. Now, uh, I'm going to read you this little uh, Enter the Dragonfly factoid verbatim as I see it here. 
And uh, this is what I wanted to uh, read to you the entire time. <clears throat> All right, go for it. So, in the uh, wiki for Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, one of the bits of trivia is an infant suffered from a seizure from playing this game, which caused permanent damage. The mother of the infant filed a lawsuit and therefore won the case to cover ongoing treatment for the child. What? What? <laughs> oh, right. Spyro, enter the dragonfly. Causes seizures. Causes seizures. Great. Yeah, that's another thing to add to the list of problems to this entire game. Yeah, there are certain points in this game that cause seizures. So if people call this a baby game, well, that's just blatantly not true. <laughs> this is a game that is tailor not made for babies. In fact, it might be extremely harmful to babies. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, Lord, there is just so much wrong here. I can't believe it. I can't imagine the Hero's Tale games being much worse than this. You want me to give you scores? They're worse than this? No. This is the worst rated Spyro game ever. Okay, good. Let me let it's... me read you down the line, because, again, nothing is happening here. We're, we're getting gems, and the level's looking very similar. I mean, we're at the same place? No, we're not, because there's new gems, but it looks the same! Pretty much, yeah. And I can't get out of this whirlwind, goddammit. So, uh, I'm just going to read you the name and the Metacritic score, because that's the only score I have right now, okay? No, okay, yeah. Spire of the Dragon, 85. Ripto's Rage, 87. Mm -hmm. Year of the Dragon, 91. That is the highest we're going to get. Mm. Season of Ice, 74. Mm. Season of Flame, 76. Mm -hmm. Enter the Dragonfly, 48 on GameCube, which is what we're playing on, and 56 uh. on PS2. <laughs> Is it Attack better of... on PS2, then? Apparently. Uh, I'll yeah. never know, because I'm not buying this game a second time. <laughs> I'm not getting it either. Attack of the Rhinox, 72. Spyro... Spyro Orange, the Cortex Conspiracy, a 60. Yeah, I... I, 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 I played the companion game to that. Uh, so did I. I played the other one. Crash Purple. Mm-hmm. A Hero's Tale... 62 on GameCube, 60 on PS2, and 64 on Xbox. The Xbox version was superior. So I gotta get the Xbox version then, obviously. And then Shadow Legacy for the Nintendo DS got a 50. <clears throat> not the lowest, but the second lowest. And then Reignited... Why is it on the, oh, it's on the DS, though? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And then Spyro Reignited got an 82 and an 83 on PS4 and Xbox, respectively. Wasn't there another one? I thought, like, the Dark Trilogy... It was like a trilogy. It was like... Apparently, that's considered its own reboot trilogy. Its own segment. So let's talk about those. Duh. <laughs> I hate these fucking things. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just now getting in the world of Spyro, and there's a lot to wrap my head around. So much lore! Here we go. A New Beginning was released on basically everything because they were trying to cash in. By the way, nice crossfade there. Oh, look, and another dragonfly just out in the open. That's cool. A New Beginning. For the Xbox, got a 69. The DS got a 68. GameCube, 67. PS2, 64. Game Boy Advance, 44. Oh! Uh, the second one, Eternal Night. It's Ice Boy. That's why he's red, right? <laughs> That's what I thought, too. I thought, oh, it's Fireboy! No, it's Ice Boy. I think it's Fireboy's blue. There is no Fireboy. You, you give it too much credit. I, I guess I do. Wait, he was cut. <laughs> Most likely, yeah! Alright, got some more numbers for you. I hope you're ready for these. Numbers! Eternal Night, which is the sequel in the Dark Timeline. Game Boy Advance got an 80, which is the highest out of these scores. Wow. The Wii got a 60, DS got a 56, PS2 got a 54. Oof. Guess I gotta get the Game Boy Advance version. And, and that's the hilarious thing. The first game got a 44 on Game Boy Advance. It did better in its sequel. Such inconsistency! I don't get it! Yeah, and then Dawn of the Dragon, the final one in the Dark Timeline. 
the Wii got a 64, 360 got a 62, PS3 a 59, and DS 57. Yikes. Spyro hasn't done well in a long time. Well, I'm glad that he got reignited because I think there was just embers left at this point. Hey, look, we did it. Wait, did? Oh. That's all we had to do. Great job, Spyro! <laughs> While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. He seems lost. Wait, so, you so in, in the five hey, seconds it took here. me to do this, you found this guy? Yeah, that's Can you like swim to the next machine? I, I want to assume Are they wanted you to go all the way around the pool and shoot them, but you don't have to move their projectiles you're firing. They don't know how their game works. Oh. Whoa, that's not good. Whoa. Uh, wow. All right. Now I see where the seizure thing comes from. Oh, there's the entrance to Hazy Maze Cave down there. <laughs> Let's go. I want to get the metal cap. Metal Spyro. <laughs> I thought that was in the dark timeline. <laughs> Look, I don't want to talk about the dark timeline any more than I have to, okay? Okay, I want everyone to raid the Niskul's mailbox and tell them that you want the dark trilogy. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I'm not doing that. Or uh, do it on my mailbox so I can go and complain to him about it so we have to do it. I don't want to hear Elijah Wood and David Spade for 12 hours apiece. <laughs> like, Elijah Wood, I can get behind because I like Elijah Wood, but David Spade? Ah! I don't, I don't see him... I don't think he would fit in this kind of a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, who else? Oh, Cree Summer was Cinder. Sweet. Well, Cree <gasps> Summer, she, she, she can do no wrong. Oh shit, Gary Oldman's the big bad dragon, I think. <laughs> it's success spawned two sequels and a planned CGI movie? What the hell? Well, that didn't go anywhere, did it? No, it didn't. I mean, I know there's a Skylanders TV show. Yeah, but that's a completely different ball game. Spyro looks fucking hideous. Yeah, he does. It looks like a gremlin. Yeah, he does. By the way, I can't believe I made that glide. Me neither. It didn't look like you were, you were supposed to make that. I shouldn't have made that, but I did. So we're just going to be happy that it happened. Congrats. <laughs> hey, if you fell, that would have been a loading screen and you would have had to go back. So hooray for progress and saving time. Oh, I'm taking it. Now, uh, here's what I was interested in. We did three out of the four, okay? Yeah. What are the odds that the Dragonfly is not programmed properly and getting to this point while doing any of them will get me the Dragonfly? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Did they think it through? Is it properly coded? Because there's the end portal. This is the end of the level. Technically. Yeah. Thanks for the help, Spyro. No. Nope. They programmed uh -oh. it properly. Uh, now, my, I, my fear I, I was... I had to second-guess myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, my fear was getting to this point and not lighting all four of them locked me out of the dragonfly. So, uh, that's a new fear. Is that a way back? Or is there a way back? We have to go in a big old loop. That's... Oh. The, the level design of Spyro has always been make the entire level one big loop. That way it doesn't take you long to get back to the beginning of the level. Right. I love that. I've, I've enjoyed the levels because of that. That is a extremely good idea. Every game developer up and coming should do that, especially if it's a collectathon. That way, your player isn't just like looking around forever for collectibles. Especially with a stage like this, that's got a lot of high platforms and a lot of big drops and all that. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we have reached the looping point because uh, the next platform we're going to jump onto is actually the top of where we started. See, right there. Hmm. And uh, it had a mini game on top of it. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and head down here, collect the gems, and uh, we're going to do a mini game. How does this mini game rank? You'll see. Next time on Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, I'm going to oh, tease you a little bit. Oh, how could you tease? Oh, 
Yeah, I figured we'd do all the actual fun stuff and not boring stuff in the second part of Cloud9, because I just really wanted to get all these extra facts off my chest. I can't believe this game saw the light of day with all the problems it had. Well, now I know. <sighs> it's, uh... Knowing it's is half the level. <laughs> it's a trip, my friend. Holy shit. 